All right, so in this video here, we're going to be solving inequalities that have one operation that we need to undo, or solving one-step inequalities. Now, we've done this with equations before. It's pretty straightforward. The only thing we're changing is we're going from an equal sign to an inequality symbol instead. That's the main difference. There is another exception, which we'll touch on as well. So let's get into it. So Mallory wants to buy a tool and a house plant. So she's going to the hardware store. Now the tool costs $54.99 and Mallory has $100 to spend on both. So the house plant must cost no more than what amount. So with most of these, if you don't actually write it out, at least in your brain, rephrase it. Okay, so here we go. So we have a tool that we're going to buy. And we're also going to buy, we're going to buy a tool plus a house plant. And the cost of those doesn't have to be exactly $100, but it can be no more than $100, okay? So, so this case here, it's not equals 100, it's no more than 100. So now that we have it uh, rephrased, we have it boiled down, we have the important information, at least in our brains, now we can write an inequality. So we'll start out with the tool. Well, it says right up here, the tool is $54.99. So there we go, $54.99, and we're also gonna add to that, the cost of the plant. Now, the plant, we don't know how much it's gonna cost. That's actually what we're trying to find here. So we're gonna use a variable for that. You could use P for plant, H for house plant, um, X, because it's the unknown. Okay, no more than. So this is gonna cost no more than. So that's gonna be the less than or equal to sign. So again, we're, we want to figure out what this is meaning. If we look at more, we might think greater than, but that's not it. So it's both the things that we're purchasing is less than or equal to $100. So there's our inequality there. Now we need to solve. So when we go to solve these, we're gonna basically treat these just like equal signs. There is an exception, we'll talk about that for uh, just a second at the end of the video here. So we wanna get the P by itself because that's what we're solving for. So we wanna undo this plus 54.99. So we're gonna subtract 54.99 to both sides. So that's what that looks like. We're subtracting 54.99 from both sides. So we have zero. 54.99 is just the P on this side. And then for this side here, we're gonna do 100 minus 54.99 and that makes 45.01. So now we know that the plant must cost no more than $45.01. So these ones are pretty basic. We can probably do a lot of these in our head. However, we when we get to more complicated questions, we wanna know kind of the procedure so that way we can extend that out to more complicated scenarios. And then we're also gonna put these on a number line. So remember with our number lines, we wanna have zero, that's kind of our reference point, and then any other important numbers also go on our number line. So in this case, 5401. So it's less than or equal to, so the or equal to means it's gonna get a, a closed dot, and then less than is going to be shaded to the left. So on this one here, because it is a word problem, we could probably stop it at zero, um, but just for showing the generic way that we do it, we have an arrow going all the way there. Uh, obviously, if we're paying negative dollars for, for an item, uh, that basically means that they're paying us to take it away. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense in this situation here, but just the graph of this inequality is gonna look like this. So here we go, we're just gonna solve C minus 12 is greater than 65. So we wanna undo this minus 12 with a plus 12 to both sides. And now we just simplify. So we got a minus 12 plus 12, that's no more 12s on the left, 65 plus 12 on the right. So we have C is greater than 77. And then on a number line, we want zero as our reference number point, and then the number that we're dealing with or any other important numbers also on the number line. So uh, strictly greater than is gonna be an open circle and then greater than shading to the right. Let's go ahead and solve 7x is greater than or equal to negative 56. So here we go. We want to undo this seven being multiplied by x. So we're gonna divide seven to both sides. So we have seven over seven is just one x is just x greater than and then we have a negative divided by a positive is negative 56 divided by 7 makes 8 so x is greater than or equal to negative 8 
So when we go on the number line, we want zero as a reference point and then any other important numbers also on there. In this case, negative eight. So or equal to on this means it's gonna get a closed dot and then greater than, we're gonna shade to the right. Here we go, we're doing x divided by three is less than 12. So we wanna undo this divide by three. We wanna get x by itself, so we're undoing divide by three with a multiply by three to both sides. So can look like that. So here we have three over three just makes one times x is just x, and then 12 times three on the right-hand side makes 36. So x is less than 36. So now on the number line, we wanna have zero as our reference point and any other important numbers also go on the number line. In this case, just the 36. So is strictly less than, that's gonna be an open circle because the solution does not include 36 and then less than is shading to the left. So when we solve these one step inequalities, we basically just treat the inequality symbol as a equal sign. There is one exception and that's when we multiply or divide by a negative and that's going to show up on the next video. If you want to see it right away, go ahead and click over here on the right hand side.